cut. Hey guys, back again thanks to General Coin and Gun Exchange. And one of the guns we have today is the Ruger SR 1911 in 9mm. Let's see how she does. Shooting at about 15 feet right now. Well, I'm not sure what happened with that last one, but if you look at the target, it does seem to group pretty well. <clears throat> Much better than me. That last one went off to the right there a little bit. Now that was me, that was not the gun. So um, not bad for my first shots with this thing. It actually does pretty well. So now give us just a second to load it back up and we'll be right back. Okay guys, as aforementioned, we are back with the Ruger SR 1911 in nine millimeter. So if like me, you really love the 1911 platform, but you also love nine millimeter, this gun's the one for you. So Ruger, of course, as everybody knows, they do already make 1911s in 45, but this is a fairly new offering from Ruger in nine millimeter. Uh, it does, it is a single stack, nine millimeter, mag capacity is nine plus one. Uh, overall length of this firearm is 7.75 inches. Height is 5.45 inches. Width is one uh, and three quarter inch across the back. Ooh, that one made me jump. Weight is 29.3 ounces. So the barrel length is 4.25 inches. So it's a little bit shorter than your standard 1911. It, uh, as far as the barrel goes, it is one and 10 inches right hand twist. Uh, like I said, mag capacity is nine plus one. The frame is aluminum. And then the slide is stainless, low glare, stainless steel. It has the, um, Drift adjustable Novak 3 dot sights. The MSRP on this firearm is right is 979, I believe, at least according to the Ruger's website. But General Coin and Gun is selling this for seven, 725, I believe it is. So um, if you you do have interest in this firearm, General Coin and Gun Exchange there in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, 725 bucks. So that being said, I've got it all loaded up gonna put make sure my earplugs are in here and make my way back down to the firing line and let's uh, let's keep shooting this thing what do you say Okay, we're still rolling. Oh, <laughs> okay, so last time uh, I shot at about 15 feet. I believe this line right here, I wanna say is 10 feet. I'm not 100% sure on that because that's a pretty long looking, uh, that's a pretty long looking 10 feet to me. So, all right, let's go to work. Now I'm gonna go to work on the head area of that target right there. See how we do. And that is nine. Well, good news is, at this distance, I did get all nine in the head area of the target there. So again, 1911 in nine millimeter. So we can just go ahead and walk right on back to the table there and I can talk while we, while we reload. So. so guys, if you're watching this while we're walking back, don't forget to click on the lower right hand of the screen here, the little button that says subscribe. If you want to uh, keep, uh, 
up to date on all the videos that we're doing, please feel free to subscribe as well as do a little name drop in here. Check out Luke and Brian and Lisa over there at General Point and Gun Exchange there in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do this. They keep us in ammo and keep us in guns. Boy, I tell you, this would get expensive in a real hurry if I had to buy all these guns. So, all right. While I'm talking, I've forgotten to count how many rounds I've put in this thing. So, I believe that is nine plus one. So, for this test, we're gonna use a couple different uh, ammo here. We're using a Gila 9mm Luger, and also we're gonna try some Hornady Critical Defense 115 grain FTX. So we'll try some of those on some soda cans here in a minute. So that being said, let's just step back up to the firing line there. One of the things that we do is every gun that we use in a video, we try to send a target along with it. So we're gonna step up to that target next and just uh, see what we can do. So come on ahead. <clears throat> And I tell you what, this thing sure is a pleasure to shoot. Not a ton of recoil, you know, it doesn't, doesn't buck too bad. So, all right, so this is the target that's gonna come with the gun. Load her up, well, I suppose put my earplugs in here, right? <laughs> okay. So now, Step right here, my safety on, make sure my earplugs are in. Okay, so now I'm gonna see what we can do on this target. Whoops. That is nine. So I did have a couple of floaters. I had one that made its way off to the left and then one that was low and right. Now, folks, that is me, not the firearm, just so you know. So even still, not too bad. So let's just go back and reload her up here. Now, I, next time I think I'm gonna try some of these Hornady critical defense and see what they'll do to a, uh, to a uh, soda can. So <laughs> load some of those up see how those function in this beast and we'll see what those do so I am a little curious here just to see what in fact they will do Ooh, pretty shiny nickel cases too look at that pretty spiffy it's a little fancier than I'm used to so it is a beautiful mid-november day uh, it is uncharacteristic weather for northern Wisconsin but we'll take it, we'll take it. We don't mind this at all. I mean, this is way better than snow belt buckle deep. So we are gonna enjoy this nice warm weather while we can. And guys, if you don't enjoy the shooting sports, it seriously might be time to check your pulse. You know, I know it's not for everybody, but I really do enjoy coming out here and doing some shooting. And thanks again, like I said, thanks to General Coin and Gun, we do have the opportunity to do that. And thanks to Ruger as well for uh, making this nice nine millimeter 1911. So let's just step back up to the line here. And uh, I've got some cheap soda down range here that of course nobody really likes this stuff as far as I'm, I know. Never heard anybody say, hey, this is good soda. So. I'm gonna stand right about here and hopefully I don't get wet. Again, Hornady critical defense ammo this time. Oh, didn't want to feed it, but okay, let's see what it does. So I'm gonna start off to the right there. Ho ho! Okay. OK, 
Okay, and I got one more. All right. And I completely missed the target too. I jerked that shot. So, while I had an initial feed malfunction with the Hornady Critical Defense, and again, that's probably me. So, uh, an expert with a sidearm, I do not claim to be. So, let's head back, load it up some more. And then uh, I am going to let my camera person put this thing through its paces as well. So I'm sure she would like the chance to, to uh, get her hands on this thing. So one more, one more magazine here, and then I'm going to let her go to work and see how she does. How many is that? I don't even know. Guess we'll just keep loading until I can't load anymore, right? Okay. So you know what? Let's try it from back here. Let's see if I can even get it on the paper. I believe this is roughly 30 yards, I think. So. Now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Again, expert with a sidearm, I don't contend to be. So let's see if I can even get it on paper from 30 yards away. Okay. All right. And that is nine. Well, I do believe I got it on paper. I did spread them out a little bit. That I do know at 30. And again, this from a mediocre uh, sidearm shooter. So, okay, give us a minute to reload and then I'm gonna switch places with my camera person here and let her go to town. Okay guys, so now I'm letting my camera person take a crack at it. Let's see how she does. Go ahead whenever you're ready, babe. Okay, so that is nine. What'd you think of that? Mm, it's different from my wall throw. It's a little heavier, but still a nice pistol. Right, for sure. Especially if somebody really enjoys that 1911 configuration, but uh, really wants to uh, stick with a nine millimeter, then they have options. Right. So let's walk it back to the table and reload. <clears throat> you guys are doing an awful lot of walking with us today. So good news is we're getting our cardio in. So, <clears throat> okay, go ahead and load her back up. And again, we are using um, a Gila 9mm Luger, 124 grain for this test. <clears throat> Just so you guys know, you can get a Gila, you know, a couple bucks cheaper than like your Federal Premium usually or your uh, Remington, things like that, Blazer even. So, and it seems to shoot fairly well. So that's why we that's why we keep using it. Okay, so we got her loaded back up. How far back you want to shoot from? Oh, how about a little further up? A little further up? <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead when ready. And that is nine. Okay. It's a fun little pistol. Sure is. 
Yeah, shoots really nice. Not a lot of recoil. Right. You don't get that oomph that you get, you know, from a 45. No, it's got a nice grip to it. It's got a nice... Uh, this is soft rubber. It's not hard. This right? is not hard. It's very soft. Um, so you're not gonna have waffle pattern on your hands if you are out playing with it too much. Right. Um, the other beauty of it is they're made in the USA too. That is true. So you know that you are getting a quality product in these Ruger pistols. They're gonna last you a long time. They're gonna behave real well. And Ruger's been around a long time. Yeah, they have. All right, what? so let's run one more through it here and let's wrap this one up. How do you, what do you say? All right, if we must. Okay, so this time I'm gonna try to get like a side shot there. Okay, go ahead. And that is nine. Again, the beauty of it is <laughs> I forgot to put my earplug in, so that was a little bit loud. So, okay, well, let's head back over to the table there. And again, guys, remember, don't forget, click the lower right-hand side of your screen there. Click the subscribe button. Um, <clears throat> again, we'd like to thank uh, Luke and Brian from General Coin and Gun Exchange for all the help that they give us. And uh, Maddie, do you have anything to say? Yeah, just make sure you subscribe and like and share with your friends. Do you have any friends that are gun enthusiasts? Share our videos with them. Couldn't have said it any better myself. See if there's anything we have that they like. And if there is a gun that you think we should do a review on, leave us a comment. That's a very good thought. I didn't even think of that. So guys, again, this has been the Ruger SR1911 mm -hmm. in nine millimeter. So we're going to sign off there. Thanks for watching.